So in this presentation, we'll have a quick look at the gap analysis model by Parasurman, Zietmel and Berry. It's one of the models I really quite like. So this is the model. It helps you look at quality by gaps between expected and perceived performance. There were five gaps identified. The first gap is the gap between the manager and his perceptions or her perceptions of customer expectations and what the expected service or offering is by a customer. This is this gap here. So if you're starting a business, what's in your mind as a manager versus what, you, what the customer actually wants? Now when you start your business, you have what's in your mind, your perceptions of customer expectations, but then you have to write that down somewhere. You have to translate that. That creates a gap between your perception and your ability to translate your perceptions into some form of specification, in some form of written instructions that you give to people. Then we have another gap. That's the gap between what you are able to write down and what's actually delivered because how well do people ever follow your instructions? This creates another gap here. That's the gap between the perceptions and the actual service that people deliver. Then we have another gap. That's the gap between the service that you're delivering and what marketing or external communications actually say you're delivering. So there's a gap between what you do and what you say you do. Then the final gap, the gap between what you say you do creates an ex expectation is created in the mind of the customer. Now there's a gap between what they expect and what they perceive they get when they engage with your product or service. Probably the most important gap is created there because expectation decides really the quality. If you have low expectation, then you're more likely to perceive a good service. If you have high expectation, well, the service or product that you offer had better be very good indeed. This little model can be used for products or services. It was designed specifically for service quality, but I think it's really useful uh, for your research.